We're a long way from the warmth of summer, but the successful gatherings that happened here on the southwest side last year have convinced city leaders to expand them to other neighborhoods. I'm Theo Keith with How It'll Work. Those downtown food carts are coming to more neighborhoods this summer. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. First tonight at 10, the Meet and Eat program is expanding. Last summer's events brought hundreds to the Meadowood neighborhood on Madison's southwest side. Neighbors say it's had lasting impacts, getting more people involved on economic and safety issues. Only News 3's Theo Keith tells you what's in store for this year and why people in Meadowood are glad that the events are coming back. Theo? Eric, South and North Side communities will get the program this summer. It will also be back in the Meadowood neighborhood where it started last year. Those are areas that have struggled with crime, unemployment, and families moving in and out. Hey, can I get the uh, chicken platter? Food, fun, and hundreds of people. It looks like a model neighborhood, but it's one city leaders have identified as needing a little help. Food is kind of a great unifier. Marla's Miller has lived in the Meadowood neighborhood for 17 years and says last year's events made a difference. She's ready to make meat neat a summertime tradition. Since it's meat neat, uh, we took it upon ourselves. I know a lot of us did to say, well, you know, we're here to meet people. Madison's mayor says the city is spending a few thousand dollars to expand Meat and Eat to the Villager Mall on the south side and Sherman Avenue on the north side. The benefit could be a greater sense of community in those places, something Paul Soglin can't put a price on. It provides a place for folks to come in and, and f discover who lives next door, who lives down the block and start making a commitment. Soglin says a lot of groups asked for meet and eat events in their neighborhoods. He says on the south and north sides, the program will help neighbors get to know each other. He points to one student who went to nine different schools last year, saying that makes it near impossible to build bonds in a neighborhood. So if food is the way to a man's heart, these food carts may be the path to a stronger neighborhood heartbeat. You've got to eat anyway, so take some time out and get to know some people, and, and that just makes home, you know, a better place to be, really. Nine food carts are signed up this year. Meadowood Shopping Center will have them on Thursdays in July and in August. Meet and Eat comes to the Villager Mall on the south side in Tuesdays in July. Tuesdays in August, the program goes to St. Paul's Church, which is on Sherman Avenue, Eric. Great program. All right, Theo, thank you. And the yeah. city is again.